Please click the subscribe button and the notification icon. It will help us a lot. Um, yeah, because, I mean, there's a lot of people out there that don't do much personal work. So when you look at their portfolios, you see a lot of stuff in there that you know has come from their time at a studio or something, like a lot of turnarounds for models or a lot of props or assets or concept artwork for the same character. And you can tell that that's for paid work. And when you see people's personal work, sometimes it shines a little bit more because you can tell that and they invest that much time into something it's a labor of love so much like my own i find that my best work is my personal work because you can spend as long as you want on it there's no deadlines there's no clients there's no money involved you just spend as long as you want to make make it look as good as you want but it is important at times to show examples of stuff that you've done in studios because if like mind i show them like a, a nicely illustrated 3D illustration with the background and everything that shows that it's a good image, but it took a long time to do, and not a lot of clients want to want to give you like two weeks to do an image, you know. So uh, you, a lot of people just want to see a model like on the turntable or on T pose or something like that. So in the case of my toy modeling work that I've done for Hasbro, it's useful to show grey renders if you just want to show off the actual quality of the model. Well. Yeah, I always find that the most attention grabbing ones and the things that sort of show off how good you truly can be is always your personal work because you put the most time and the most effort into that.